Hi, Cindy Crawford here for your Health Matters Show. Today our topic is doing what you can. Now, basically we're talking about output of energy, output of physical energy, cognitive energy, your emotional involvement, but particularly your physical ability. Because we know that if we don't keep trying, the body becomes deconditioned. And the more deconditioned it becomes, the harder it is to come back and be more physically fit. I constantly struggle with this because I was sick for 20 years. And I am attempting to get healthier. Even as I age, I still have all of the hope and all of the expectations of feeling well and being the best that I can be. So I'm going to do all that I can do. All right. What does that entail? Well, it's different for each of us. Each of us has different ability, different stamina levels, different uh, starting places from where we were sick, different ages. Okay. I was, a, I was sick mostly in my 40s and my 50s. Now, here in my 60s, I've been much, much healthier. I have essentially recovered. But I still have the nagging, some of the nagging symptoms. And I definitely have the deconditioning from 20 years of less activity. And I'm trying to do it at a time when my body should be toning down a little bit. So it's a different situation for each of us. And if you do what you can, when you can, you have a better chance of not getting in a situation where you really have no place to come back from. Okay? So I encourage you. And one thing I had found, I'll share with you. Okay? Because I haven't had a car the last few months due to some family circumstances. And I've been having to depend on my husband for transportation. I couldn't go to water aerobics. So I found an alternate thing that I could do that didn't take two hours, but something that took 30 minutes, and that was silver sneakers. Now, I qualify that because of being on Medicare and being on Medicare complete with my plan with AARP. Silver sneakers is only $13 a month. Well, ooh, you know, that perks the old ears up. Because a gym membership, a lot of times it's $50, $60 a month. It, it can get prohibitively expensive, particularly when you're having to watch your dollars when you're on disability. Okay, so $13 was really great for me. And I started Curves. Now, I can do other things with silver sneakers, but Curves is right down the road, and it takes 30 minutes. So I thought, okay, I'm going to try this. And I went in with just the expectation of doing what I could without sparking uh, any kind of repercussions, attacks, anything of that nature. And I've been able to do it twice a week. Now, their recommendation is three times a week. But for me, twice a week is the best goal for me. And even with that, at first, I was so sore <laughs> and hurting so badly. And the routine's are only 30 minutes. It's not hard. It's not strenuous. But it's 30 minutes of an activity I wasn't used to doing. So, first night or two, ooh, oh, yeah, oh, okay, and didn't sleep that well. But it went away fairly quickly, okay? Not too many days did I suffer with that, and I took it as slow as I needed to take it. That may be weeks for some people. I know when I first got started with water aerobics at the gym, at the Y, I believe it was, in 19... 91, I could, I, I lived a long ways from the pool. I could get dressed, drive there, put on my swimsuit, put my toe in the water, get dressed, drive back home, get in the bed. Literally, I was that bad. I had to work up five, ten, five minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, 20 minutes into the class until finally I could do 80, 90% of the class. Now, that was a fairly aggressive program, and I couldn't put my arms up in the air, you know, and do all the, the cardiac stuff. 
but I could do what I could do. And I meant I worked out for 50 minutes at the time. Now that was 20 years ago. So now I'm doing what I can do right now. And Curves is working really well for me. They they uh, seem to be excited about me being there, and I'm even going to teach a class about how to get over fibromyalgia. But, you know, the point is we all... Now, and, and let me digress here a second. Curves is just for women, okay? You men will have to find your own answer for that. But I'm doing what I can. And every woman out there in that class is doing what she can. There are women there 20 years old. There's women there 75 years old. They're doing what they can to keep. Uh, a lot of times for older women, it's helping to maintain your balance. Being strong enough, you know, to walk without a cane and, and a walker and all that. I mean, you want to want to have some vitality. You, you want to look like you're alive. You want to feel like you're alive. And with... All of these illnesses, if you've been sick a while, your, de your body has become deconditioned. So if that's true for you, you've got to listen to your body. Listen to how tired you feel. If you hurt, don't get too scared because you are going to feel like you're using your muscles. and They're going to get a little bit winded and a little bit tired, but just notice all of your symptoms. If you need to, talk it over with your doctor. Get recommendations of the type of programs for you. But I just encourage you, that type of program is a fairly good one. I, I was really surprised that it got my heart rate up. I expended some energy. I used some muscles. I felt good about myself. And 30 minutes is not a huge amount unless you're in a terrible relapse from chronic fatigue or you're in a terrible pain spiral from fibromyalgia. But even if you are, try to do what you can do. Walking, walk to the mailbox and back. If that's your best you can do, then do it. Take your cane, put your coat on, do what you got to do to get out there, smell the flowers, look at the fresh air, get a little vitamin D for a few minutes, and get out there and do it. Sometime you can't get out of the bed. There's just no doubt about that. You're too sick. You're absolutely too sick. So you need to wait. Strengthen yourself. Body, mind, spirit. Do what you can to get well enough that you can begin to venture out in life. I encourage you. I'm there with you. I've been there. I've walked the road. I fell in the ditch many, many times. But you got to pick yourself back up and you got to keep going. That's the key. Just do what you can do. Listen, have a great, great weekend. I'm Cindy Crawford with the Health Matters Show.